So if we want to meet with our students in a synchronous mode, we use Google Meet. And it is actually possible to set that meeting up ahead of time. But to do that, we're going to need Google Calendar. And you go ahead and simply create an event. So you give it a class name and a topic. And then down here, we're going to click on this one here because we want the conferencing option. And we're going to add conferencing. And that will give you this link here. You'll find that when you click on here, that'll open it up a little bit more. And you want to go ahead and copy that link. So I've right clicked to do that. So we're going to copy that. And then we make sure that you set your date, your time that's going to start, the time it's going to finish. And just make sure that this date matches this date. Otherwise, it thinks that it wants the event to go for more than one day, which is probably not what you want. Then you're going to go ahead and save that. So that will add it to your calendar. But our students don't use Google Calendar. So while it's useful for conferencing with your colleagues, if they use Calendar, not so useful for students because very few, if any, of our students use Google Calendar. So in, if you're using Manage Back, it's simply a case of going to your messages, posting your message. And down here, and what I can do here is I can actually highlight that word here, click on the link. I'm going to insert a link and paste in, just make sure it says meet.google.com and insert that. And then I can add that message. So that makes that a clickable link that the students can follow. And then go ahead and add that message. And as you can see, that gives them a link that they can follow. If you're using Google Classroom, get rid of that one. If you're using Google Classroom, then you can add it to your stream. And so you're going to want to add an announcement. And what you'll need to do is actually go add. And you want to add a link and paste that link in so that gives them something that they can click on just before the meeting's due to start to get to that meeting. Now, if you're using Seesaw, a couple of ways you could do it. You could add it as an activity. And this is probably the way I suggest you do it because if you use the inbox, students probably won't see that. So you can go ahead and create an activity. Oops, type instructions in here, you know, so. And so forth, you can add in some voice instructions if you need to. I won't put all the instructions in. And then you're going to actually want to uh, add multimedia instructions. So you're going to add a link. And so we're going to paste that in there and approve it. And so what they will get and save that. Have a bit of a think. And then you would go ahead and you would assign that. And I've got a test class, so I'll assign it to them. And you can check it out. There it is there. So they would click on the link and that would take them. To... On the day of your online session, you'll want to set up five to 10 minutes beforehand. And you can start the meet by coming to where you have posted the link in your announcement to your students. That's one way of doing it. So in Seesaw, you'd come and find the activity and click on the link or find the announcement in Google Classroom or in Manage Back. Or you can come to your calendar and open up the event for that day. And that will give you this link here that you can click on. That will start the meeting for you. But if you're running your inbox for the day, what you're actually able to do is click on this toolbar over on the side. And that will open up a little mini calendar for you. Find your 
event. So the calendar will run in real time. So you'll have an approximate, so whatever time it is approximately is the time that will roughly show up on your calendar. So you can see what's coming up and you can again, click on the event and then click on the link and that will take you to the meeting as well. All right, as always, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll help you out. Thanks for the meeting.